So I went to my first convention last weekend and I am still super excited about it. I went to Awesome Con. I could not pass up the opportunity to meet Billy Boyd. He's my favorite hobbit. <laughs> I really wanted a picture with Billy Boyd and uh, I, I got one and I am still just over the moon. And I went with a good friend of mine and we went and this was the first convention for the pair of us. And it was such an eye-opening experience to how awesome the world of conventions can be. So there were several celebrity guests that I was really looking forward to meeting. Uh, the main one for me was Billy Boyd. I love him, he's my favorite hobbit. We actually got these shirts from Etsy that had a second breakfast club and we were pumped to wear those. I remember Billy's face, he went, oh! And that was it. That's all he said. That's all, that's all we had time for. No hate. I was warned that photo ops were insanely quick and I'm not, not hating on it at all. I'm very grateful for the experience. I can say I met Billy Boyd. I did, he did say hello, <laughs> but it was so quick. And that was one of the tips that my friend Michelle, hi Michelle, had said. She's like, you can do both the photo op and the autograph table, but generally, you know, the photo ops are really quick. It's like, hey, how you doing? And you're gone. And that's exactly what it was, which no hate, I, I expected that. Or you can go to the autograph tables. Usually you can talk to the celebrity a little bit when they're signing your stuff. I, I don't regret that experience. I, I enjoy the fact that I got to meet Billy Boyd and he was very nice with that hello. And he has such a kind smile and just a genuinely kind and compassionate persona to all that he is. So I. I enjoy meeting him. I regret not going to the autograph table though. That was my one regret from the whole thing was uh, not going to the autograph table. I felt like I should have, but I budget wise, it just wasn't in the stars for me. That was another thing I learned really quick. Was that the money adds up quick. No regrets though. The next year I just know to budget a little bit better. And we got to meet Christina Ricci at the autograph table. I grew up with her films, Casper, The Addams Family, and Sleepy Hollow. It's still one of my favorite movies. I have to watch it every single Halloween. And it was such an honor to meet her and she was really nice she was asking how we were and the conversation was really funny though because literally we walked in the door like around like 12 or 12 30 we got to awesome con and we immediately went to the autograph table and that had been all we done <laughs> i remember walking up to her and i was like hi it's such an honor to meet you and she's like oh thank you she's like how are you doing and she was so nice and so genuinely curious about what we had done so far and she even asked hey what is what's your been what's been your favorite thing to do so far mind you i hadn't done anything else and i was like meet you and she's like oh thank you no really but what was your favorite thing to do and i was like that's all we've done <laughs> and she was like what were you looking forward to most about awesome con and i was like meeting you i was just <laughs> cringy on my part but she laughed and she thought it was great and she was I guess she was very touched I she's she's very nice uh, that was my favorite part of the whole day I think um, that that awkward conversation <laughs> Uh, and then finally, I my inner child was so excited to meet Austin St. John. He's the Red Ranger from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which is the best era of Power Ranger. <laughs> Don't come for me. That was my favorite show. I was even part of the fan club. <laughs> like back in the day when you joined the fan club, you can like pay to have your face photoshopped on like the head of a Power Ranger suit. <laughs> Did anybody else do this? And literally you picked what ranger you wanted to have your head taped on to and I, I chose the pink ranger and so somewhere out there in my collection of photos is my little chubby little face on the pink power ranger. It's awkward as all heck but I thought it was the coolest thing ever when I was a little girl and I used to have like the the fan club video I would watch every single episode of that show and the Red Ranger was always my favorite actually Austin was my first celebrity crush I knew when I saw him on the list of guests I'm like oh man I need to go I need to meet him so I did the autograph and selfie combo for him and he was really sweet we had a, a nice little conversation I enjoyed other aspects of it like uh, sitting in on Christina Ricci's panel that was pretty cool hearing uh, all the questions that fans would ask and all of her insight when she answered those questions was re just really cool to, to sit and listen to and also all the artwork in the exhibit hall oh my god there's some tremendously talented people I, I came to realize before I went thank god that Doctor Strange would be everywhere. <laughs> the multiverse of madness and all the uh, other cool stuff Marvel is doing. His face and it literally his face is everywhere. And you know me. I, I love Benedict Cumberbatch so much. 
love Benedict Cumberbatch so much. And the fact that I was in an exhibit hall where his face was everywhere and I limited myself to two pieces of artwork, I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> I expected to return home with a whole truckload of Benedict Cumberbatch. I told myself I would do one piece. I actually ended up getting two. And uh, they were both really cool. There was so much to see in that one day. I can see why people make several days of it. And I'm looking forward to doing cosplay for the first time at my next convention with my good friend Tabitha. Hello, Tabitha. The question for you is, what's the one tip you would tell somebody of what to expect or how to be prepared for a comic convention? And uh, even with cosplay, tips on cosplay, like the, I don't know, any anything to make your, you know, your costume more comfortable or, or budget friendly if you're on a budget or anything like that, let me know. What's your biggest and best tip that you could give somebody for the, for having the ultimate convention experience? <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.